Instagram account Baller Alert asked it, it's, it asked its readers an interesting question. It said, it asked, what are the biggest red flags on the first date? Okay, where, where do I begin? Because I'm just, you know, going out a lot and just and having a lot of fun. I, I think one of the biggest red flags for me is talking about your ex on the first date. <laughs> That's a big red flag. Because if you keep on going on and on about your ex, it makes me think you're still in love. Yeah. Okay? It makes me think you want to go back home to your ex. And then I start thinking, when we get done, am I going to have to drop you off at her house? That's... <laughs> <laughs> So that would that. Oh, oh, another red flag is like uh, if a man asks me if I want to go Dutch. Okay, on the first date, like clap if you want to go Dutch. No, not at all. Not on the first date, and I don't want to hear you talking about the bills you gotta pay and da da da. da. <laughs> We all got bills we gotta pay. I don't even look. Let me tell you, when I go on a when I go on a date, I don't even carry my purse with me. <laughs> And another one that I don't like, I don't like it when I go on a date and then he's too affectionate. Because to me, like, being too affectionate is too much too soon. That's what I think. It makes me think, like, I, when, when you, we want to kiss on the first date, like, I feel like you need a place to stay. That's... <laughs> You know, it's so many, I'm telling you, at, from dating a, a while and just being single, it's just so many red flags. A man who is too flirtatious, like, <clears throat> when he, like, when he too much swaggy. Like, I remember one time, you remember, John, we were at Candy Burris's wedding. Oh, yeah. And so we were there and we were waiting for the doors to open to go into the wedding. And Stevie J, who was on Love and Hip Hop, so Stevie J, Stevie J comes up to me and John was right there. And I remember I held out my hand because I'm like, I'm Sherry Shepard. He, Steve, he grabbed my uh, hand and he rubbed my palm with that finger right there. He kept oh. rubbing my palm with that finger right there. And, I, and, it, and it, it was the finger right there. And I was like, Stevie J, that's so 80s. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then another thing that Stevie J did was like every time he talked to me, he would pull me close and he'd whisper in my ear. So he was like, he, I say, hey, I'm Sherry Shepard. He was like, yeah, I'm Stevie J. <laughs> like all in my ear. And I said to him, I can hear you. <laughs> it's only like four people in the lobby. I can hear you, Stevie J. So it was like, it was a real flirtatious. Although I could have been Faith Evans. You I don't know. Could have been you know, Faith Evans. I yeah. I played the cards right. We love you, Stevie J. Now, John, what are your red flags? Well, my dating life sucks. That's first and foremost. <laughs> but if we were on a date and you showed up with a headshot and a resume, you trying to help me break you into the business. Yeah. That's a red flag. Definitely a red flag. Yeah, we don't want those. You got to make it on your own. Let me see. Uh, Marco, what are, what are some of your red flags? OK, I got one. Uh, a woman who can't disconnect from her phone, always texting <laughs> or, or taking a selfie at dinner or taking a picture of the food. I can't deal with it. That's, you don't that's like a turn off. That's a red flag. It's a turn off. Marco, you don't like selfies. <laughs> not on the first. No, not ever. <laughs> not ever. Okay, Sus, you got any red flags? Yeah, I got like two. One right. is definitely bad breath. Okay. Oh, bad oh breath is, that's not that's good. That's just not a good look. You know what that's I'm saying? That's not good. And the other one is if I bring her to my, one of my gigs I'm DJing. Yes. And she knows literally every man in the club and hugs them all. Oh. Yeah. That's a red flag. That's a red, yeah, I, that, I think that would be a man's biggest fear is like somebody from the club come and pop on the button and be like, hey, girl. <laughs> now, Suzanne, I know you got some red flags. I've okay. got some red flags. I have three. Okay. Now, I haven't been on a first date in years, okay. but I give advice to a lot of the young women around my life, in my life. So the first red flag, I'm all for a drink or two, but if he flat out gets drunk, that's a red flag on the first date. That's a red flag. No. Okay, you get it. Okay. The second, um, if they show up dressed like a slob and have dirty nails, check your oh. nails. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, that's... Yeah, dirt under the nails, no way. And the third, if he orders like a salad, like a goat cheese salad or a Caesar salad and a glass of white wine, I am out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I like a man who eats beef and drinks a beer. <laughs> Suzanne is down with that meat. Suzanne, that meat. <laughs> Suzanne you like the beef and beer. I the like the beef that. and the beer. Uh -huh. Okay, all That's right. So we're very, we're very picky on the Sherry Show with what we like. So I want to say to y'all, thank you, Suzanne. So y'all, 
let us know what some of your first date red flags are, and I would literally love to know this. Go to Sherry Show TV <laughs> or on Instagram. Sherry Show TV on Instagram. Let us know what are some of your red flags uh, when you go out on a date. <laughs>